Next plant, number 56 on your list. This is Fraxinus oxycarpa raywood. So this is the uh, raywood ash, and <clears throat> it's a very commonly planted shrub or uh, uh, shade tree or street tree here in uh, Oregon and, and in Corvallis. Um, you can see uh, from the photos and, and from the plant behind me that it does have a much finer texture than we see in many of our other ash, and so that's certainly a, uh, a um, you know a positive going behind uh, raywood ash. You may also be able to tell in this tree behind me that uh, the, the, the trunk tends to have less of a taper at the base. And we've noticed this, at least in this planting, uh, that they seem to have less of a flare at the base of these. And I don't know if that's an issue from propagation or if they're too deep or if it's due to uh, the genotype here. Raywood ash, it is, uh, I think the best uh, attribute of raywood ash is that it has this amazing purple uh, fall color, which is, is quite unique. And here in the Willamette Valley, we don't have a, a whole lot of plants that really have outstanding, consistent year in and year out fall color, and raywood ash does provide that. On the downside, raywood ash tends to be fairly hard to, um, uh, to establish. And in fact, this line of trees that I'm standing in front of, this is the third time that these trees were planted here. Again, that may have been a production issue, a planting issue, who knows, but they, they, they definitely have an issue uh, with, uh, with, with establishment and they tend to uh, uh, be somewhat weak rooted again during establishment and can fall over. And there also tends to be, uh, again, can, can, can take a look behind me, some issues with uh, some branch dieback. So some really good attributes, some really uh, uh, poor attributes to uh, Praxinus oxycarpa raywood.